Hello, this is Farooq Hussain. I have a good news. If you or your organization looking for export deployment and training of any open source integrated library system, digital library system, institutional repositories, discovery and guided tools, standards and protocols, so you can connect me through my Fiverr account. It's fiverr.com backslash Farooq Hussain. F I V E R R dot com backslash F U R R U K H H U R S A I N. Or you can directly connect me through my email address. It's a forof dot hussain at the rate gmail dot com. So you will receive a twenty percent discount if you directly connect me through my email address. So what are you waiting for? Don't waste your time. Connect me now through Fiverr or my email address. If you need an expert Hello and very warm welcome to Raflims this is Farooq Hussain in this hands on video tutorial we will learn how we can configure SSL for Koha local setup but before we move on let us understand what is SSL SSL is an abbreviation of secure socket layers which is a standard technology that encrypts data exchange between a user browser and a website ensuring secure communication and protecting sensitive information like password credit card details from encryption so it's make your data and your uh, credentials secure and the exchange of that especially so how it's work actually there are three ways to work one is handshake that's actually the exchange of keys between a browser and the server for a secure communication. Number two is encryption. Data is encrypted during transmission. So unauthentic, a user cannot read the data. And the authentication, the SSL certificate verifies the website identity, uh, assuring user it's uh, safe to proceed whatever the user whoever the user is safe to proceed or not so it's actually authentication so what about the cost uh, SSL certificates can be free like there's one example it's let's encrypt or paid normally when we talk about Koha library system or any other website so I believe this is actually paid so you have to have buy uh, SSL certificates to make your website secure. So whatever we write as a HTTP, HTTP is actually the uh, uh, unsecure uh, website. When we write HTTPS, that's actually the secure website and that is a layer of SSL. So depending on the level of security and features needed, paid certificate may offer additional validations warranty and support so let's start this video that's a brief introduction about ssl and uh, let me show you this is actually koha and that's koha is available on local host that is http if you can see this let me zoom this so maybe you can see this I'm not sure about this. So it's if you can see this, this is localhost. Uh, this is staff interface. You can see this is HTTP. And here we have the pack that is available on again on uh, HTTP. The local host let me log in here and now we are trying to convert this HTTP to HTTPS okay and making it secure 
Okay, so 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 the very first thing that we need to do, we need to open our terminal. <clears throat> Taking time to log in. Okay. Let's log in now and we need to activate the admin mode. Hello, this is Farooq Hussain. I have a good news. If you or your organization looking for expert deployment and training of any open source, integrated library system, digital library system, institutional repositories, discovery and guided tools, standards and protocols, so you can connect me through my Fiverr account. It's fiverr.com backslash Farooq Hussain. F I V E R R dot com backslash F U R R U K H H U S S A I N. Or you can directly connect me through my email address. It's uh, Farooq dot Hussain at the rate gmail dot com. So you will receive a 20% discount if you directly connect me through my email address. So what are you waiting for? Don't waste your time. Connect me now through Fiverr or my email address. If you need an expert, <laughs> and there we have some command line. Let me show you. Uh, so, at the very first step. We need to create a self-signed SSL certificate because we are going to use local host and for the testing purpose and that's why we have to create the certificate. We are not actually buying uh, SSL certificate. So to create a certificate, we need to create a directory that is available here. I mean, we are going to create this directory. and. Uh, this command will work to create a self-signed SSL certificate. So let me open this terminal and it's login with the uh, sudo su. And here we are going to copy this command. Paste here. And this command, you can see this command carefully. And paste here. Now, when you put this command, when you enter this command, it will ask you a few questions like country code. For example, uh, it's PK for Pakistan. Now, it will ask the uh, city or the province the sorry uh, province or the state and then city the company name whatever the company name or the university name or the school name and the organization name And there you need to write the local host. Common name is actually local host. Email address, you can write your email address. And it's all done. So clear this. And now we have created this. And at the second step, what we need to do, we need to open the uh, Apache site available. I mean the library. We are using the library instance here as the instance of the library. We need to open the Apache configuration file for our instance here. So I am going to use the gedit here instead of nano. So let me show you.
and there we need to put this SSL engine on see this command so you can view this command here these three lines actually so SSL engine on SSL certificate file and that's actually available on this directory this is the file and the SSL certificate key file so here's the key file so let me copy this I'm going to paste here so you can see this is this is the virtual host 8080 80 is for opac here I am using opac on 80 uh, without I mean 80 is without any port so here I am going to add And again, at uh, here on the next virtual host that is 8080, that is top interface. So I just add here. And now let me save this file to the configuration file and The next step is the last step that we need to do is to run these command. So we need to enable the SSL mode and then we need to enable the site again and then we need to restart the Apache and that's all. So let me copy this command here one by one or you can copy all together. So copy and clear this paste here and you can change your name i mean instance name here for example this is library okay done and let me exit here and now you can see we can log in we can key we can go to https if there's some trouble you can actually check the apache logs and ensure that the 443 that's actually the virtual host working uh, there's no other virtual host uh, may available on 443 so it's all done and let me open the terminal here I mean the Koha library system here so I just write HTTPS Google backslash local host 8080 for staff interface and there uh, you can see because we have created this uh, SSL certificate so it's self signed certificate that's why the browser is actually uh, showing the the potential security risk ahead. So we need to accept the risk and continue here. And there you can see we need to log in again. And uh, I'll show you. And uh, this one for https local host column 80 i just put 80 whether i don't need to put 80 but just for the first time accept the risk and continue When you may buy your uh, SSL certificate, then you can go with your domain. So here at the uh, instead of domain, I am using the local post. So it's all protected. You can see this is uh, 
https and now let me log in here if i remember my credential i hope so see Now it's secure, you can see, secure, and then, 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 that's all for today, and uh, this will not work. When I refresh this, it will not. So thank you for watching Raflims, this is Swarup Hussain, keep watching Raflims and take care of yourself uh this guide actually available on uh, uh i i'll give the link in the description of this video so you can have this guide and uh, thank you very much for watching raflims keep watching raflims take care of yourself